This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we'll demonstrate the integration between Parallels RAS and Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop. Azure Virtual Desktop, or short AVD, is a service in Microsoft Azure providing access to published applications and published desktops. Parallels RAS integrates with AVD and also provides additional value, such as support for hybrid scenarios, extensive cost saving, ease of management, and an enhanced user experience. The goal of this video is to show you how Parallels RAS can be used to deploy all aspects of AVD and create a production-ready environment in no time. We start our journey in the Parallels RAS console. As you can see, the console provides access to a wizard to help you deploy AVD. Go to Start and click on Deploy Azure Virtual Desktop. First, select the client feature set. When selecting Advanced, additional Parallels RAS features are added, such as universal printing, scanning, URL redirection, drag and drop, and much more. The first step is to provide the information that is needed to make a secure connection to Azure. This allows Parallels RAS to create AVD resources in your Azure subscription. Provide the Azure Tenant ID, Subscription ID, and Application ID details. Review our documentation for more information on the exact permissions that are required for this step. Click Next to create the AVD provider. The wizard now guides you to the next step, which is creating the AVD workspace. Provide a name, description, and resource group location where you want to host the AVD workspace. Click Next to continue. Again, the wizard guides you to the next step, which is creating the AVD host pool. Similar to before, simply provide a name, description, and resource group location where you want to deploy the AVD host pool. Click Next to continue. You now have the option to configure the host pool properties, such as host pool type, which can be pulled for multi-session and personal for single session, the publishing type, the load balancing method, as well as the option to limit the number of sessions. At any time, click on the help button for more information on each option. In this example, we'll set the publishing type to desktop. Click next to continue. Ideally, AVD session hosts are based on a template image to allow auto scaling of the host pool. There are two options available here. Click on Custom Host to create a new custom template image with your applications and your settings. Or, as we'll do in this demo, Azure Gallery to select any of the available images that Microsoft Azure provides. In this case, we'll use Windows 11 Enterprise Multi-Session, including Microsoft 365 Apps for the Enterprise. Now provide the local administrator account credentials. And finally, make sure you select the desired Azure region to deploy the session host service to. Click Next to continue. The following two screens provide more advanced options regarding the template image naming conventions and auto-scaling properties. Change these as required. For the purpose of this demo, we'll accept the defaults. The wizard now helps you to define more specifications on the session host servers, such as the VM size, the disk type, and the network location. Change these settings accordingly and click Next. Parallels RAS comes with over 140 different image optimizations to increase user density and also to optimize for Azure consumption cost. Familiarize yourself with the impact of each option and make a selection here. For the purpose of this demo, we'll accept all image optimizations. This is the last step in the image creation process. Provide the details on how to prepare the image for duplication. RAS prep is our optimized way to generalize the image, but you can also use sysprep instead. Next, provide the credentials and details needed to add the session host servers to your domain. Click Next and click Finish. Now provide details on the assignment. This allows configuring who has access to the AVD resources. These settings can of course be modified later on as well. Once complete, click Next. And this is the final step of this wizard. It allows configuring profile management based on FSLogix profile containers. Provide the location where you want to store the FSLogix profile containers. Both SMB and Cloud Cache are supported, and you can even provide multiple locations to improve high availability. The profile disk format, type, size, and more advanced settings can also be configured at this stage. Parallels RAS takes care of the full installation as well as the configuration of FSLogix profiles. And that's it. Based on the provided information, Parallels RAS now starts deploying the necessary resources in Azure, as well as creating the template image, deploying the session hosts, and configuring assignment and profile management. Click Finish and click Apply to commit the configuration. To review the progress, go to Farm Azure Virtual Desktop. 
note that the AVD workspace is created, the AVD host pool is created, and the template image is now in the creation process. Switching to the Azure portal, note that the AVD host pool, application group, and workspace are also visible here. Now switching back to the Parallels RAS console again. For the sake of this demo, we have fast forwarded the creation process of the template image. The template now has the status ready and the corresponding session host servers have been created. Complete the configuration by publishing resources on the AVD environment. Open the publishing tab and click add. Select the type of resource you want to publish. In this case, we select desktop. Click next and select Azure Virtual Desktop as the provider. Select the host pool you just created and click next. Now provide the details of the published resource, which in this case is a desktop. And as a result, we can provide a name, description, icon, screen size, and multi-monitor settings. The available options will vary here based on the type of resource you selected to publish. And finally, provide the details on the status of the published resource. Select Enabled to make the published resource available instantly. Click Apply to commit the configuration. Switching to the user to see the end result. In this case, we are using the Parallels RAS Windows client. Create a new connection and provide the corporate email address. Based on the email address, the Parallels RAS client is automatically configured. Provide the password and any MFA that might be applied. This particular user is authorized for a couple of resources. In this example, those are coming from a mix of RDSH, VDI, as well as AVD. When clicking on the AVD desktop, the logon sequence is started and we're presented with a Windows 11 multi-session desktop as part of Azure Virtual Desktop. The desktop is now ready for use. The FS Logics agent indicated that the profile container is successfully mounted. And disk management confirms the mounted profile disk. And finally, the About Windows dialog confirms we're using Windows 11 Enterprise multi-session. This concludes our video on demonstrating the integration between Parallels RAS and Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop. Parallels RAS integrates with AVD and also provides additional value such as support for hybrid scenarios, extensive cost saving, ease of management, and an enhanced user experience. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels Tech Bytes series.